Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. Uh, this is a new video that I'm recording today uh, to answer a couple questions and to advertise uh, some changes that are going to be occurring and have occurred to my channel here on YouTube and also to the accompanying blog um, that I have attached to my channel. Um, so this is sort of like an introduction to for new people or to sort of introduce a new direction that my channel is heading. So this was really spawned uh, for a few, re a couple reasons. One, I had a few comments by some users asking me to talk about what my current theological position is. Uh, it's no um, mystery that I obviously have walked out of uh, the Orthodox uh, Sunni uh, Islamic perspective. And I think that's pretty evident from the videos I've been posting for the past couple of years. Um, I've been documenting conversations with Farhan Qureshi, uh, whose YouTube channel is Orthodox 786, uh, also documenting my change uh, pretty much since the spring of 2011 to now, uh, my different views on theology, uh, looking into different aspects of the religion of Islam, and trying to find a school of thought that really fit my uh, evolving uh, position and beliefs. And uh, now I'm at a place where I have walked out of that tradition and have uh, settled into a new perspective. Uh, this is something that didn't happen suddenly, uh, as I hope is as I hope is evident from uh, a number of the uh, videos I've posted the past couple years. Um, having said that, people are asking though, where do I stand? And so, before I answer that question in particular, I want to draw everyone's attention to uh, the fact that I now have a new blog. I have taken down my old Aussie CDA blog, uh, which served a purpose since uh, I, be, I believe I started that blog right when I started my YouTube channel, if not the year after that. So it's about 2008, 2009, give or take, that I had that blog. Uh, I would be posting articles and also recording exclusive blog videos to that, um, to that site. I have now taken that down and I have started a new blog. Uh, which is, you can find it at aussiecda.wordpress.com. And I'll have the link below in the more info section. Um, and I also have it linked to my YouTube channel's uh, main page. Uh, so you'll see the little WordPress symbol. Uh, the title of the blog is Dreaming in Symbols. And uh, it's essentially going to be in a continuation of what I've been doing on this blog on this YouTube channel, which is typing articles, um, expressing my continued views about religion, psychology, the marriage between the two of them, um, and other new topics that I've just gotten into over the past year. Um, why have I deleted the old blog? I felt like I my, my new stage in this journey of mine deserved a fresh start. Um, I appreciated my friend who helped make the blog, um, the way it looked, but really when you went to the blog, it screamed Islamic apologist. Um, and also I feel that WordPress is just a better uh, blogging platform, uh, just my own personal opinion. So um, having said that, I now have this new blog. The first article is on there. Uh, fun to see a few people who have found the blog and have started following me, even though I haven't, uh, I made this video, I made the, I typed and made the blog first and typed the first article and published it first before recording this video. So glad to see that things are picking up even without this video. But I wanted, I wanted everyone who uh, is subscribing to my channel to also see the blog as well. Um, the first article you'll see uh, is uh, a, an in-depth discussion of trying to summarize as best as I can where I was to where I am now. I didn't want to make a very long video so uh, talking about what my theological point or perspective is now, I just wanted to give a little introduction and have the blog answer uh, more questions. One thing I will say in this video, though, is um, the point of departure for me, the, pl the, 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 the key that unlocked the door, if you will, to where I currently stand now is by reading this book here. And it's uh, Swedenborg and Esoteric Islam uh, by Henry Corbin. Um, at the time that I read this book, I had been reading uh, the mystics of a number of religions. I had been reading Ibn Arabi specifically um, and uh, really trying to, I kind of considered myself a sort of hybrid Muslim uh, belonging to the schools of thought that um, were championed by Ibn Rushd or Averos in philosophy, um, Ibn Hazm when it came to fiqh, 
and Ibn Arabi when it came to spirituality. It was not, this is not an established thing. These perspectives have been, um, there are heirs to these perspectives, even in our, in the 21st century, but it's a minority opinion. Um, and I thought that that was where, um, I would stop. Um, I began to have many doubts though, and my blog post will go, go through some of this. So I don't really want to repeat myself here. Um, however, when I read this book, I read this for a couple of reasons. One, because I started to take an interest in Swedenborg. I had heard Swedenborg, uh, throughout my life, but I had never actually sat down and read any of his works. And I have been told that this book written by Henry Corbin mentions Ibn Arabi and, um, certain spiritual hermeneutics, a uh, spiritual way of reading the Quran or understanding Islamic tradition. And, uh, he does this comparatively. Henry Corbin compares Swedenborg's hermeneutics of understanding the Bible by looking at Ibn Arabi and some of the Shia, uh, mystical perspectives to try and compare both hermeneutics. So I read the book thinking, well, this should be interesting. And what happened to me when I came out of reading the book is I, uh, f found hope that there are esoteric perspectives in Islam that look at the Quran as in a more symbolic way. I mean, I had known that by reading Muhammad Assad and Abdul Yusuf Ali's commentary on the Quran, but this, uh, there is actually a historical root to this type of hermeneutic, which I thought was, um, uh, fascinating. I had run across it occasionally by looking at some of the Sif Sufi, um, spiritual perspectives and understandings of the Quran, but this was really concise. But what it also did for me is it made me realize, uh, how that I needed to read this guy Swedenborg. So I started reading Swedenborg and absolutely enjoyed his theological perspective. Um, I enjoyed his uh, perspective on uh, religion, God, man's relationship to God, the afterlife, and more importantly, his symbolic reading of the Bible. He, uh, Swedenborg was not a literalist, and this really was appealing to me um, as I started to really desire a perspective, a theological perspective that fit a more universalist, non-dogmatic, non-literalistic perspective. Um, I had been reading Carl Jung and Joseph Campbell, and as I've documented in my old blog and also on this channel, but what I was doing up until this point is I was reading Carl Jung and Joseph Campbell more for an anthropological and psychological perspective. I, I accepted their perspective based on philosophy, based on psychology, but I had kept my religious attitude separate from them for a while. And it had been a struggle back and forth because I started to read Carl Jung's writings on religion. And you can't really not read Joseph Campbell's perspective on religion, but I had not taken it to heart really. I mean, I said that I accepted their theories, but I, I was hesitant to uh, merge my religious persuasion with um, my understanding of psychology and anthropology due to my readings of Joseph Campbell and Carl Jung. Uh, Swedenborg allowed me to do this for the first time in my life. I was able to actually now merge uh, my understanding of philosophy, my understanding of psychology and religion all together uh, into this sort of universalist perspective. Um, so I started reading more and more Swedenborg. I, uh, you know, were seeking out people who were Swedenborgians. That's the denominate one of the liberal that's the liberal denomination that um understands religion based on the writings of emmanuel swedenborg um so people were to ask me wait so are you a christian now um or are you this now or whatever i, I would say that um i don't really want to use uh, definitive titles uh in the blog i call myself a universalist swedenborgian but really at the heart of things i am a universalist uh and in the blog i go into more details of what i mean by that um, so one thing I also want to say in this video is that there are some excellent YouTube channels on here on YouTube that are doing excellent videos about Swedenborg. So if you're interested in, in learning more about Swedenborg, I'll have in the more info section below a link to a channel called off the left eye, which, uh, the gentleman who runs that channel is doing excellent work. Um, he'll put all my videos to shame. Um, <laughs> but he's something, he's someone to aspire to. Uh, he is, in, he's inspiring to me that he is taking the time to talk about Swedenborgian theology and really try to teach people in not a uber academic fashion, um, uh, about Swedenborg, some of the principal, uh, ideas of Swedenborg, uh, his channel is taking off and I'm really happy to see that. 
Um, he's partnered with the Swedenborg Foundation, which is the other YouTube channel that I would like to put into the more info section. Their first, the, the one video that I have, they'll have linked is an excellent introduction to Swedenborg. And it also tells you a little bit about who he is and also some of the first uh, few books that you can check out, um, uh, you know, to get an idea like, you know, because Swedenborg wrote about 30 volumes of text and some people get really intimidated by, you know, where should I start? And so that video does a good job of explaining, you know, where's like some of the top five books or so to start. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, like I say, uh, you know, check out uh, a couple of these channels that I'm that I would like to promote. I would also like to encourage everyone to check out my new blog to read the article. And I say in the blog um, that I will be writing more articles about some of these perspectives. I mean, uh, these newfound perspectives. This is just really an introduction. So I'll be making more videos about how Swedenborg has inspired me personally, uh, my understanding of of you know certain specific theological concepts um you know just just to try and uh fill in the gaps because i realize this is just a really you know basic introduction and there's a lot of uh terms and things that i've said that a lot of people aren't too familiar with some people are probably wondering well, who the hell is swedenborg what's what's universalism what's unitarian universalism what are these what are these things so i would like to um you know uh, endeavor in the future to record videos that uh, go into more detail about those things, you know, more about Jungian psychology, more about um, the perennial philosophy and things like this. So I'll uh, stay tuned for more videos along those lines. If anyone has any specific questions for me uh, that could spark a discussion or spark future blog posts and YouTube video topics, I would also appreciate uh, suggestions or questions as well. Um, so if you put a question like, hey, Colin, you know, what do you... What do you think about this or what, what's your perspective now on this that could spawn a whole youtube video or a blog post so i would i would really appreciate feedback as well um so yeah uh, check out the links below and check out my blog the two channels and please stay tuned to future videos and blog posts so this is kind of a new chapter for this channel um i'm not deleting any of the old videos um i i talked to my friend wayman 29 and please check out his channel as well um, he told me to not delete anything, uh, as far as the, the vlogs, um, because he felt that, that that's a great, um, history of how I used to think. And you can see the evolution of my thought starting from when I pub uploaded my first video in 2006, all the way to now. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you all for watching. And I uh, look forward to the continued dialogue and discussions here on YouTube and also on my blog and the internet in general. Thank you all for watching and peace be with you all.